Welcome to Brainwaves, the channel that brings you insightful information about the world we live in. In today's video, we will be discussing the environmental impact of automobiles. Transportation is an essential part of modern lifestyles, but our dependence on vehicles has proven to have a significant impact on the environment. From the emissions released to the waste produced, we will be exploring the various ways automobiles are impacting the environment. So buckle up and let's get started. Greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, are a significant contributor to climate change and global warming. Automobiles are one of the primary sources of these gases. The burning of fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. In fact, cars, trucks, and other vehicles release almost 333 million tons of carbon dioxide into the air annually. This increase in carbon emissions has led to a rise in global temperatures, sea levels, and more frequent extreme weather events. As the population and economies continue to grow, so does the demand for transportation. It's essential that we find ways to reduce our reliance on fossil fuel vehicles to mitigate the damage caused by greenhouse gas emissions. The rise in carbon emissions due to transportation and other human activities has been linked to an increase in global temperatures, which is known as global warming. The Earth's natural cycles of heating and cooling are being disrupted by the accumulation of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, in the atmosphere. The increase in global temperatures has led to melting ice caps, rising sea levels, and more frequent extreme weather events, such as hurricanes and droughts. As the world's population and economies continue to grow, it's essential that we find ways to reduce carbon emissions and mitigate the impact of climate change. There are several steps we can take to reduce the carbon footprint of our vehicles. One of the most effective ways is to use more fuel-efficient cars, such as hybrid, electric, or plug-in hybrid vehicles. These cars use less gasoline and produce fewer emissions than traditional cars. Another option is to carpool or use public transportation to reduce the number of cars on the road. By carpooling, we can reduce emissions by up to 75%. Walking, biking, or using an electric scooter or bike share program are also great options that promote a healthier lifestyle and reduce carbon emissions. Finally, maintaining our vehicles and ensuring they are operating efficiently can help reduce emissions. Keeping tires inflated to the correct pressure, changing filters, and regular maintenance checks can all help improve a car's fuel efficiency and reduce its carbon footprint. By taking these steps, we can all work towards a more sustainable future. Air pollution is the presence of harmful chemicals in the air, which can have serious health effects on humans and the environment. Vehicles, especially those that run on gasoline or diesel, are significant contributors to air pollution. The burning of fossil fuels releases a range of pollutants into the air, including nitrogen oxides, NOx, particulate matter, PM, and volatile organic compounds, Box. Nitrogen oxides can contribute to respiratory problems, while particulate matter can cause lung damage and other health issues. Volatile organic compounds contribute to the formation of smog and can cause eye, nose, and throat irritation. Unfortunately, air pollution doesn't just affect the immediate vicinity of highways and roads, but can travel a considerable distance, leading to global health consequences. Exposure to pollutants from vehicles can have severe health effects, especially for people with pre-existing respiratory conditions, children, and the elderly. Nitrogen oxides can cause inflammation of the airways and coughing, while particulate matter can lead to shortness of breath and wheezing. Long-term exposure to these pollutants has been linked to chronic respiratory diseases such as asthma and bronchitis, as well as heart disease, stroke, and even cancer. In addition to these physical health effects, air pollution can also have a significant impact on mental health, with research linking high levels of air pollution to depression, anxiety, and cognitive decline. There are several steps we can take to reduce air pollution caused by automobiles. One of the most effective ways is to use more sustainable transportation options, such as walking, biking, public transportation, and electric or hybrid cars. Another option is to choose vehicles with higher fuel efficiency, which release fewer pollutants into the air. Governments can also play a role in reducing air pollution by implementing regulations on vehicle emissions and promoting sustainable transportation initiatives. 
Vehicle emissions testing and requiring the use of particulate filters can also significantly reduce emissions. Finally, we can all take steps to reduce our individual impact by reducing the number of miles we drive, combining trips, and maintaining our vehicles to ensure they are running as efficiently as possible. Oil spills from automobiles can occur as a result of accidents involving oil tankers, ruptured pipelines, and other oil-related activities. Oil leaks from cars and trucks can also contribute to pollution on a smaller scale. While not as catastrophic as large-scale oil spills, these leaks can still harm local environments and damage infrastructure over time. Any oil spill, no matter how small, can have lasting consequences on marine life and surrounding ecosystems. Oil spills can suffocate marine life, impact the food chain, and contaminate drinking water supplies. The damage caused by oil spills can last for years, making it essential that we work to prevent these incidents and take steps to mitigate their impact. Oil spills have long-term and devastating effects on marine life and ecosystems. The oil spreads rapidly in water, coating the feathers and fur of birds and mammals, making it difficult for them to move and causing hypothermia. It also blocks sunlight and oxygen, leading to the death of underwater plants and animals. The pollutants from oil spills can get passed up the food chain, impacting the health of fish and other sea creatures that humans eat. The pollutants can also accumulate in sediments, where they can cause long-lasting damage to aquatic ecosystems. It can take years or even decades for marine ecosystems to fully recover from an oil spill. While it may be impossible to eliminate the risk of oil spills completely, there are steps we can take to reduce their impact. One of the most important steps that can be taken is the development and implementation of more stringent regulations and oversight of oil transportation and extraction. The use of double-hull tankers and regular maintenance checks on pipelines can also help prevent spills. Early detection and quick responses are also essential in containing and cleaning up spills. In addition, efforts can be made to minimize our reliance on oil and to transition to more sustainable energy sources like wind, solar, and electric vehicles. By taking steps to reduce oil consumption, we can lower our risk of oil spills and promote a healthier environment for generations to come. Roads and parking lots take up a significant amount of land, especially in urban areas. In the United States, for example, roads and parking lots cover about one-third of the total land area in cities. This means that vast natural habitats and green spaces are often destroyed or altered to make space for vehicle traffic and parking. Land used for roads and parking lots can also contribute to issues like heat islands and water runoff problems, which can harm the natural environment and local communities. The impact of road construction and land use on the environment is significant, and it's important to find sustainable transportation solutions that minimize this impact. Road construction has a significant impact on natural habitats and ecosystems. When roads are built, trees and vegetation are often cleared, causing habitat loss and fragmentation. Wildlife, particularly those that require large areas of habitat to survive, can be seriously impacted. Roads can also act as barriers, preventing animals from accessing food and water sources and mating grounds. The construction of roads and the resulting increase in traffic can also contribute to soil erosion and water runoff, polluting nearby waterways and causing harm to aquatic ecosystems. The impact on wildlife and the natural environment highlight the need for more sustainable transportation solutions that preserve habitats and ecosystems. There are several sustainable land use alternatives to traditional roads and parking lots. One solution is to reduce the amount of space dedicated solely to vehicle traffic and parking by increasing the availability of public transportation and encouraging biking and walking. This not only reduces the amount of land needed for roads and parking but also promotes a more active and healthy lifestyle. Another option is to use permeable pavement or green roofs, which allow water to be absorbed into the ground and reduce runoff and soil erosion. Urban gardens and green spaces can also be integrated into roadways and parking lots to create a more sustainable and attractive environment. By embracing sustainable land use alternatives, we can reduce habitat loss and environmental degradation while promoting healthy and vibrant communities. The production and disposal of automobiles generate a significant amount of waste, including scrap metal, plastics, and other components. 
The production of a single car can require thousands of pounds of raw materials and generate significant amounts of waste, including metal trimmings, glass, and plastic. In addition, the disposal of automobiles at the end of their lifespan can pose significant environmental challenges. Auto parts like batteries, tires, and oil filters contain hazardous materials and chemicals that can leach into the soil and groundwater if not properly disposed of. The environmental impact of the waste generated by automobiles is significant, highlighting the need for more sustainable practices in the automobile industry. The environmental impact of waste produced by automobiles is significant. The production of raw materials required for vehicles requires considerable energy use and contributes to greenhouse gas emissions. The disposal of automobiles can also contribute to pollution and contamination, as hazardous materials found in auto parts can pose significant health risks to the environment and nearby communities. Scrap metal and other materials left behind after the destruction of automobiles can be harmful to wildlife and natural environments. The extent of the environmental impact caused by automobile waste highlights the need for more sustainable practices in automobile manufacturing and disposal. There are several strategies that can be used to reduce waste and promote more sustainable practices in the automobile industry. One of the primary strategies is to recycle and reuse as many materials as possible during the production and disposal of automobiles. This includes recycling materials such as metals, plastics, and batteries. Additionally, manufacturers can design vehicles with end-of-life disposal in mind, making it easier to recover and recycle materials. Furthermore, the use of eco-friendly and sustainable materials in vehicle production can also lead to a reduction in waste and environmental impact. Finally, promoting alternative modes of transportation, such as electric and hybrid vehicles, can help reduce the environmental impact of automobiles and waste production. These waste reduction strategies can help the automobile industry become more sustainable and promote a cleaner and healthier environment. And that brings us to the end of the video. We hope you found this informative and thought-provoking. As we have seen, automobiles have a significant impact on the environment, and it's crucial that we take steps to mitigate their effects. This includes using more fuel-efficient vehicles, reducing the number of cars on the road, and promoting public transportation. We must also consider the impact of our individual choices, such as carpooling and walking or biking instead of driving. It's essential that we all work together to preserve our planet for future generations. Thank you for watching Brainwaves, and be sure to tune in for more insightful content.